Hey everyone, it's Daniel from UMedia Chicago back at it again with another Pixlr tutorial video. So in this video we're going to be talking about two of my favorite things to do in Pixlr which is cropping and curving. Almost every photo you work with can probably be improved by cropping and curving. It's just the most awesome thing you can do. Hey Dad, I heard you were doing cool stuff this weekend. What did you do? Oh me? Just cropping and curving. You know how I do. So what you just witnessed is a pretty common scenario that plays out between me and my friends. So let's get right to it here. We're going to start with cropping. And to crop, you just select the tool in the upper left here and then click and drag a box on your image and it will crop out everything that's not in the selection area. If you notice, it automatically gives us these three boxes here. That's the rule of thirds, which basically just means things that fall along the lines the eye is kind of drawn to. You never want your subject directly in the middle like this base photo is. You want things to fall like slightly off center and it just makes for more interesting photos. Over on their left I also have a lamp post and a tree that's kind of causing a lot the eye to be drawn away from my subject. So I'm gonna crop some of that out to make it look a little nicer and keep the focus on the subjects and also kind of the action of the photo. If you notice he's kind of pointing off to the right here, I'm also gonna to try to make sure there's a little bit more extra space over there. That's called lead room, where you want the extra space to fall where your subject's eyes are looking. You don't want extra space behind somebody, it tends to just look kind of awkward. So now that we've done our cropping, I'm going to do some curves. Select the curves menu from the adjustments section. Yeah, you can just click on this line here and what you're changing here is the highlights and the shadows in your photo. It ends up kind of doing some like contrast work that looks a little bit nicer than just adjusting contrast straight up or down. You can kind of play a little bit with the shadows. Like this photo actually turns out it looks like a little bit washed out by dragging down the shadows a little bit. We can bring some nice kind of deeper greens and colors back into the photo, which is what I'm going to do. Just kind of make some minor adjustments, get it to where you like, and then hit OK. And yeah, your photo is basically done. So if you click over here on the History tab on the right, you can kind of see the changes that you made to it over time. And yeah, just kind of see the way the photo looks a little bit nicer. And then the colors here when we curve just come out a little bit more. And that photo's done. I'm just going to run through one more photo, one more crop and curve just to kind of give you another example. And this one I'm dealing with a photo with edges. Look at it. You can tell that it's a lot darker than we probably wanted it to come out. So we're going to be using the curves function to uh, brighten it up a little bit, make things easier to see. So adjustments, curves. And yeah, I'm just going to start working with that line again, just dragging it to a point where I like it. And if you click at other points in the line, you can add other adjustment points to keep certain aspects of the highlights or shadows kind of in place. You can see I'm kind of adding the shadows here at the bottom a little bit more by the controller. And yeah, I'll also throw a crop on this photo real quick. Um, yeah, I always try to just make the box first and then drag the edges instead. Let's say for this photo, maybe I want to cut out that little part of the hand there that's peeking in. It just might seem a little awkward or... There's a lot of noise at the top of this photo that doesn't necessarily need to be in there, people's phones and things like that. So I'm also just going to kind of take that out, get my lines all lined up, press enter, and then the photo is done. So thanks for watching. Uh, you can respond with any questions in the comment section, and yeah, stay tuned for more.